Are you a fan of Germany Bundesliga? What are your expectations for the weeks ahead in 2019-2020 football season? Hi and welcome to another episode from the Betting Trends video series by Betfame. My name is Emily Di Cosimo and I am the spokesperson for this video series. <laughs> This video specifically does careful and detailed expository of the Week 12 results of the Bundesliga, especially the clean sheet trends in the week's games. We will look at the number of teams that kept clean sheets. The German top league popularity called Bundesliga has so far served football fans with loads of interesting results this season. Between the 22nd and 23rd of November 2019, the 12th game of the season took place in different centres across Germany. What's so spectacular about a clean sheet? The truth is, for a team to boast of successive clean sheets, it means they are defensively solid and the goalkeeper is really on top of his game. In addition, it could be a reflection of the opponent's inability to score goals and find their way to the back of the net. Clean sheet results for Bundesliga game week 12. Clean sheets are a thing fans, teams, managers and the players would like to get often. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to come by. In the Week 12 games, Union Berlin defeated Mönchengladbach by two goals to nil. Wolfsburg won with a two-goal margin away at Eintracht. Holders, Bayern defeated Fortuna by four goals. Augsburg won at home, defeating Hertha Berlin by four goals. As we can see, about 20% of the teams kept a clean sheet in the week's game. From the results, it is obvious that while the winners are defined by the number of goals they can score, extra credit goes to the defenders and goalkeepers too for refusing to let their opponents score them. We hope you have learned a thing or two about clean sheet trends in this video. To learn more about other soccer betting trends, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and stay tuned for more videos in this betting trend series. Thanks for watching and good luck.